How's it going, guys? So, the last fight that I want to review that happened this weekend, and it was a, a fight I was very interested to see, which, again, was over a lot quicker than I anticipated. Um, Vincent Fagenboots knocked out Mike Ketter in the second round with a body shot. Uh, I believe it was a, a right uppercut to the body. Um, you know, going into this fight, I have a prediction video up for this fight. I, I predicted the fight back when it was first set to happen in September, and uh, what happened was... The fight was doing. Uh, th there was there was a high demand for tickets for the fight, so they decided to push it back and have it in a bigger venue. That was why the fight got postponed. And um, yeah, I was very intrigued to see this fight. Now, uh, Vincent Fagenboots, for those of you who don't know who he is, he's the former WBA interim super middleweight champion. Uh, he's only twenty years old, so he's a very young fighter, um, a very promising contender in the super middleweight division. Um, he has two defeats. One of them was was to a journeyman in his second pro fight, and uh, his his other defeat was a, a stoppage against a former former WBA champion uh, Giovanni Di Carolis. Now um, that fight was um, was a rematch in the first fight. Uh, Fagan Boots defeated Di Carolis by a controversial twelve round majority decision. And uh, no, sorry, was it a unanimous decision? Yeah, it was a unanimous decision, but it was controversial, and uh, most people watching felt that De Carolis won the fight, and um, he avenged it in the rematch. Now, um, that was to be expected because I mean the difference in experience between those two was was insane. I mean, Vincent Fagenboots was, I think, nineteen years old in that first fight, and uh, you know De Carolis was thirty, and he was a a very experienced veteran, so. You know, going into that fight, you know, it was it was impressive that, that Fagan Boots was even able to be competitive and, and win the first fight, arguably. So, yeah, you know, Vincent Fagan Boots, I've been watching him for a while. He's a, he's a very promising fighter. He's got a lot of power. He's very strong, um, you know, really puts his combinations together well. Uh, he's a very good finisher when he gets his opponents hurt. And, uh, you know, he, he seems to be a very solid, strong, tough fighter and, um, you know, a very promising fighter. Now, um, he is obviously rebuilding after the after the defeat against De Carolis. He's had a few fights since then. I think this was his his fourth fight since the De Carolis defeat. And uh, he's won them all by knockout. Now, uh, Mike Ketter, for those of you who don't know who he is, he's a, he's a, a, a short super middleweight. However, he's very strong, you know, very big in build. And he's a pressure fighter. And why I was intrigued to see this fight is because Mike Ketter is uh, 33 years old. You know, he's uh, obviously a, a heck of a lot um, more developed at this stage, a heck of a lot more experienced. And, uh, you know, he's one of these fighters who gets on the inside and really rips your body. You know, he's kind of like a, stylistically, he's kind of like a Mike Tyson type fighter. You know, he bobs and weaves, looks to get on the inside, you know, kind of like Joe Fraser, you know, and he, he, he looks to wind up that left hook to the body, stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's a guy who looks to get inside and really rough you up and push you back. And I was interested to see how how um, Fagan Boots would deal with an opponent like that. And, um, yeah, I, w I was anticipating fireworks. I knew this fight was going to be a shootout. It was a shootout, um, but I didn't think it would be over so quickly. So, uh, yeah, Fe Feigenboot showed his power. Um, it was a very good um, right uppercut to the body that he landed while uh, while um, Ketter was on the attack. You know, Ketter basically paid the price for his own aggression in this fight. You know, he came out very fast. He was looking to, to drag um, Feigenboot into a dog fight. Uh, he was looking to take the fight inside and back him up to the ropes and stuff like that. And uh, Feigenboot was having none of it. Okay, he, he used his power to keep this guy off him. Uh, he handled it very well, and he got the knockout. So, yeah, very impressed by, by Feigen Boots. You know, this was a, a very, very good performance, you know, to, to fight a guy as as tough and as rugged as uh, Mike Ketter and to destroy him like that in two rounds. It's when you're only 20 years old. I mean, it's a, it's a very impressive victory, and uh, I really look forward to seeing where this guy goes. Now, with this fight, um, it was for the, I believe, the IBF international title, so um, it's going to give uh, Fagan Boots a, a uh, high ranking with the IBF, I imagine, after winning this fight. Now, um, the IBF champion at this point in, at this point in time is, is James DeGale. He's lined up to fight Badu Jack next year. Now, um, after that fight, um, if, if DeGale beats Badu Jack, which I believe he will, um, he will be then lined up to fight um, 
Callum Smith because Callum Smith is the WBC mandatory and um, Badu Jack's the WBC champion. So if James the Girl wins that fight, it'll be uh, the likelihood is that, that Callum Smith will be the next opponent. Now, which of course would be a big fight in the UK. Now, um, Fagan Boots, I would love to see Fagan Boots get a fight with James DeGale. I think that's a very good fight. I think that obviously Fagan Boots, he needs a little bit more experience. I think that it would be wise for him to get himself in a mandatory position first, because by that point in time, he will have picked up more experience himself. And um, and but, but I would love to see that fight. I, I think Fagan Boots, he certainly has the. Uh, he certainly has the potential to to give James De Gale a very tough fight and maybe even beat him. You never know. Obviously, I wouldn't pick him to win at this stage because, I mean, he's a twenty year old boy that needs that needs more experience. But the fact that he's competing with people like Mike Ketter and uh, Giovanni Di Carolis at his age, I mean, it's impressive. It really is. Now, one thing that concerns me though is that Fagan Boots. He's a little bit big for super middleweight, and, and with him be only being 20 years old, you know, he's still obviously growing, so uh, I don't know how long he'll be able to make weight for, I think maybe in a couple of years he'll have to move up, and I'm not sure if he'll be as effective if he has to move up, because he won't have a, a size advantage up there, so I don't know, you know, it'd be interesting to see, but I mean, this fight's out there for him, there's no need to rush, I mean, 20 years old, he's, he's still very young, I think he was a little bit rushed, and that's probably why... He's in the position he's in now, you know, with, with having two defeats. But it's good that they haven't babied him. You know, it's good that the Sowlands have, you know, thrown him in the deep end, basically, and, and um, you know, seen what he's made of. Because, obviously, it's that's what makes a fighter, you know. You, you give them tough challenges and you see how they succeed. So, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see what goes on with Fagan Boots now. I'm, I'm excited to see where it goes from here. Um, obviously, one fight that, that that is a possibility is perhaps a fight against... Uh, Tyrone Zoig, he's the current WBA champion at uh, um, super middleweight, and, and they both have the same promoter, and they're both from Germany, so that fight would be easy to make, okay, Tyrone Zoig versus Di Carolis, uh, sorry, Tyrone Zoig versus Fagan Boots would be an excellent fight, uh, Tyrone Zoig just beat Di Carolis by an 11th round TKO after a draw in the first fight, so that's something these guys both have in common, that both of them have had two fights with the uh, with Di Carolis, and, and both of them have beaten him once, so, you know, the, this fight, you know, they, they could really, they could really market this fight well, it, be, it could be kind of like a local rivalry in Germany, and, you know, it'd be a very big fight, and I would like to see it, <coughs> so yeah, let me know how, let me know what you guys think of, uh, of this fight, what do you guys think of Feigen Boots, you know, could, could, could he give James De Gale a tough fight, uh, could he compete with, um, with Tyron Zoig, let me know what you guys think, thanks for watching.